mission to seafarers at Richards Bay, as with all other ports, was obviously impacted by the COVID pandemic. The greatest difficulties were in having to adapt to the strict protocols on the part of the authorities, ship owners, vessel captains and shipping agents. But the work had of necessity to continue and so we adapted to the circumstances as best we could, knowing that the seafarers were doubly grateful of any help during these turbulent times. Normal service in abnormal times was made possible by our unwavering belief that the Lord would open doors of opportunity for our ministry and by the tremendous support we received from our MTS committee. In particular, we salute Tracy Jarman from Canefields Country House, which was used as the city's quarantine center for her untiring efforts in making the seafarers stay as pleasant as possible. For the record, between December 2020 and July 2022, Canefields hosted a total of 1,618 seafarers, of which 1,497 tested negative and 121 positive. Without going into detail, we look back on several contributions and interventions that we performed and may we humbly say that we were always mindful that we were placing ourselves in risky situations as we interacted with those in quarantine as well as on board vessels. A blessing was in having ship visitor Eva Clarsen as an interpreter. We visited the Indian 3rd Engineer at the Bay Hospital and also at Canefields providing food, SIM cards, Bibles and toiletries. We also lent a MiFi on board for his fellow crew. The Port Welfare Committee was instrumental in arranging seafarer vaccinations ashore from September 2021. We provided groceries and clothing. The Chinese chief officer's comment was all the thanks we needed when he said, on a cold and rainy day, you bring us warmth. We assisted in the repatriation of a trawler crew that sank in Baira together with the Philippines Embassy. MTS intervened after four Filipino seafarers were arrested. It saw them back on board within 24 hours. MIFI units were delivered on board vessels in port and at outer anchorage. We also delivered goodies at Sun One and Canefields, visited a second engineer at the Bay Hospital and delivered Christmas gifts on board. Day and night, for 365 days per year, the mission is on call providing help for seafarers. Thanks to Port Chaplain Mark Clarsen and his wife, ship visitor Eva, seafarers were assisted in the most trying time as ports around the world, including Richards Bay, tried to navigate around strict COVID procedures and regulations. Good day, my name is Mark Clarsen. I am Port Chaplain for the beautiful port of Richards Bay. And it is my absolute privilege to be able to share with you that even though COVID was quite tough for seafarers and for us who serve them, we were able to get to them, obviously within the strict regulations and because of the authorities that we had to contact first and we had to do that in order to get to the ships or to the hospitals, but we were able to do that. We were able to help them in wonderful ways. The, foot, the footage that you see in the video highlights just a few ways that we were able to help, but there are myriad other examples. And it's wonderful when we touch base with these seafarers that we've helped, just how grateful they are to the mission to seafarers. So we'd just like to say thank you to Mission to Seafarers and its supporting partners for the resources that they've provided so that we can continue our ministry to 
our seafarers, the unsung heroes of the sea. Thank you. Sa lahat ng mga supporters ng Mission to Seafarers, mula noon hanggang sa wakas, sa lahat ng mabubuting puso, walang hanggang pasasalamat sa inyong lahat. Saludo po kami sa inyong lahat. God bless you all at mabuhay.